Your vehicle is equipped with an intermittent windshield wiper system. This lever is used to control all windshield wiper and washer functions. To operate the intermittent windshield wiper system, your ignition must be on. Push the lever down for the first stop for intermittent operation. To increase or decrease the wiper speed, rotate this ring. Intermittent operating speeds vary according to your vehicle speed. At a higher vehicle speed, for example, the intermittent operation will be faster. Push the lever down to the second stop for continuous low speed operation or down to the third stop for continuous high speed operation. In conditions of mist or light rain, push the lever up to mist and you'll get a one sweep operation of the wipers. To clean the windshield, pull the lever toward you and hold. Washer fluid will spray and the wipers will automatically sweep several times. The wiper will also operate once to wipe washer fluid that has dripped on the windshield. To replace the wiper blades or clean the lower windshield, the windshield wipers must be in the service position, with the ignition switch in the on position or within 60 seconds of placing the ignition switch to the off position. Lift up on the windshield wiper and washer lever two times in less than 0.5 seconds. The wiper operation stops in mid-operation. The wiper arm can then be pulled away from the windshield for replacement or cleaning. To move the wiper blades back to the original position, push the windshield wiper and washer lever up for more than one second or push the lever down to operate at any wiper speed. To operate your rear windshield wiper at a preset intermittent speed, turn the knob on the end of the lever to intermittent. For continuous operation, turn this knob to on. Turn the knob to the off position to turn the rear windshield wiper off. To clean the rear window, push this lever forward. Washer fluid will spray and the wiper will automatically sweep several times and stop. Please see your owner's manual for important safety information, system limitations, and additional operating information.